Okay, this is the uh, Tango Sierra 520 Sierra by Trio Stroke Kenwood, built around about 1980. And uh, a few people have asked me, you know, these old analog radios, um, uh, you know, the, the quick setup procedure, etc. And uh, there's nothing really difficult about them. And uh, once you once you get used to the sequence and uh, you've set it up, then uh, they're, they're normally uh, they're pretty quick to set up as you change from band to band. So I just thought I'd give this one a quick overview. I've done it before, but I don't think I've done it for YouTube. In fact, I know I haven't done it for YouTube and I can't find the original video. But... Uh, yeah, we're we're on twenty meters at the moment, and it's all set up. Um, so what we'll do is we'll swap bands. <coughs> we'll swap to a uh, uh, forty meters. I won't go through the receiver setup because it's already set up, and I don't I don't want to um, upset it. But effectively, uh, what I tend to do is find someone on frequency, find out exactly what frequency they're on and what radio they're using. I tend to find IC seventy three hundreds tend to be slightly off on the radios that I use. Now, I use Kenwood, so it might be a, a Kenwood thing versus um, uh, the uh, the Icom. But uh, so, yeah, we're on 20 metres. Just been having a chat with Reppy. He's up in uh, Lapland, um, a nice loud station. He, he tends to run low power, but he's always incredibly loud. Um, uh, I'll have to check him out. He's, um, his antenna system. Um, he, you know, he's quite predictive in what he's going to say to you. And, um, he, but he's very appreciative of a UK, uh, calling him. And he, he does like to work the UK stations. So we've got the, um, we've got the 79, uh, sorry, the, uh, 5200S. And, um, it goes through an MFJ tuner. Um, the MFJ tuner is then connected via uh, some coax out to the 9 to 1 unun and then to a 90 foot long wire. So um, first thing I would do is uh, we, we switch to the 40 metre band and we set it to about mid band but where there isn't somebody already transmitting because that's just a little bit unfair. And we turn the knob here to tune you've got tune cw usb lsb there's no am fm on these radios um uh, for 40 meters let's go up to the tuner for 40 meters roughly i know it's going to be the inductor's going to be on g we know that because the sound has gone up slightly on the uh on the uh, receiver um and i know roughly i'm uh, around about there Round about, yeah, so it's about the ballpark figures. But uh, now we've tuned it in, or rather we've um, almost set the tuner, we can hear, if we go to lower sideband, we're, we're almost on top of a station there. Let's, uh, I like to go about mid-band when I tune, if it's a small band. I can't hear anyone there. We set the plate, there we go. Let's put the noise up. We set the plate to uh, seven. We'll have the load at minimum for the time being. Okay, we're on RF uh, reading at the moment. We sit here at ALC, and what we've got to do, we've got to set the ALC. That's the drive. Um, that's what we're setting now. So we have one hand on send. We've got one hand on drive. We see we're peaking. So we want to uh, we want to put it into. The ALC. Now, some people go mid of it. I, I tend to try and get to the edge of it. And that's where I'll start. And we'd uh, switch that off. Let it cool down just slightly. Because obviously there's a mismatch at the moment. And uh, the valves will run a little bit hot. So, we, um, we've we got it on um, uh, ALC. I'm just going to leave it for a few seconds. Try again. There we go. Let's just back it off just slightly using the drive control. Okay, now we switch to uh, IP. That's the plate current. We're looking for around 225 milliamps plate current. So uh, what we do is we go to send, and we, we're going to now peak the plate um, for plate current. We're now going to uh, dip it as low as, as low as it will go. So we go to... Uh, we're still on tune press send and we're just looking for the minimum setting there now we go to cw this will give us full power 
we're looking for 225 milliamps and dipped it's a little bit low just a little bit low that's as low as it goes around 200 just over 200 milliamps so we, we tune the low just slightly and it's a little bit high so we can back that off just slightly there we go we don't have to go mad and that is pretty much it we go to um, RF uh, we're on CW, uh, this meter um, is a little bit off, but if we go here, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to, we're going to transmit and we're actually going to listen first. I can't hear anyone there. So, we're transmitting, and we're transmitting about 130 watts, but uh, let's just... And we're just going to peak this just to get it as near to one to one as possible. There we go. I think that will do us. We're running about uh, yeah, about 110 watts and everything's nice and uh, low SWR wise to the radio that is. So let's um, stop transmitting a tone. And back to the radio. Now, that might have been an arse about face. Um, not too sure if you got that. But um, that's basically the setup. Now, that was slow because I've, um, uh, I've sort of mucked around for a video. But it gives you an idea. Um, I can do it again. If, if no one followed this too well, I can do it again. And um, I'll give it more thought. This was just a, a, an off the top of my head. Do you know what? A few people have asked me how easy are these radios to drive. And they are very easy. Let's see. I've worked a few lighthouse stations on 40 metres. Now then, the other thing is... When you've set up your receive and you've calibrated it, it's very, very easy. You've got no digital display, but it's very, very easy to read the um, to read the display. We're on lower sideband, we know that. So you've got three settings. If you have it on CW, that will be the center notch. When you're on upper sideband, you read off of the upper sideband notch. When you're on lower sideband, we go to the lower sideband notch. Let's see if we can tune this person in. That sounds like Petra, DL5PIA, but I could be wrong. And she is on 7, we know we're on the 40 meter band, 7 megahertz, 7, 157. She's on 7157. And uh, you can make her sound more human using the RIT. If she starts speaking again. Petra, good station. Um, nice to work at. Always very friendly. And <laughs> not talking because I'm making a video. There you go. It's as easy as that. That's how easy it is to set one of these up. Normally, if I change band, if I was to change to, a, say, the 20 meter band, um, set the plate, set that to minimum, set drive midway, I have the carrier about three quarters of the way and uh, going through tune, CW, and then your band using the ALC, plate current, and then RF, uh, plus setting up the, um, the MFJ tuner, takes seconds, seconds, maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds. M0 JCF.
Yeah, Delta Lima 5, uh, Papa India Alpha, Mike 0, Juliet, Charlie Fox returning. Very good afternoon to you, Petra. Yeah, that was no problem whatsoever. Um, I just heard your family there today, and um, it sounds like Ali's good, as they say. So, uh, all good here. Um, you're 5 and 9, plus 10, 5 and 9, plus 20 peaks on uh, some of those overs. But uh, a very consistent signal today, Petra. Uh, DL5, PI. M zero JCF. QSL, absolutely no problems, um, uh, Petra. A uh, very uh, big privilege to speak to your daughter. Uh, good afternoon, Pia. Uh, Delta Lima 7, Papa India Alpha. This is Mike Zero, Juliet Charlie Fox. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah, Delta Lima 7, PIA, M0, JCF returning. A very good afternoon, PIA. Yes, uh, younger than my daughters now. My daughters are 21 and 24, and um, uh, they still live at home, and uh, they're still uh, my great girls. But um, I'm sure that um, your your mum uh, likes you being there, especially as you're a radio fan. Unfortunately, uh, my daughters, no way the radio. They just don't, they're not in. Interested. So it's um, really good there that uh, you and your mum and uh, your uncle, uh, you support each other. But yeah, you're uh, 5 and 9 plus 10 on the peaks. And with QSB, you're dropping down to about 5 and 8. 